hey guys how are you it's Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel so we're going to do some times that I um could have and should have went to jail I apologize for all of the likes you're about to endure because I say it a shit ton I was up in a different state with a friend we'll call her Brooklyn so I was in Colorado with Brooklyn visiting her family and everything and she wanted to show me the school that she went to and unfortunately we walked all around it and tried all of the doors because it was abandoned but none of them would open and she really really wanted to show me we found a cute little sign and um we take our sweatshirts or jackets whatever we had we use that to pick it up you know no fingerprints we proceed to walk over to a window now we didn't decide to go through a back window no we went through a window on the side so we're right here and houses are like right here <laughs> so they could see us we give it a little the window a little tap nothing happens but another tap a little bitty chip and we say all right if it doesn't break this third time we're just gonna say screw it and not try to get in so the third time comes around and it shatters we take off I mean full speed like run to the woods and we sit there for a couple of minutes no alarm went off no cops were coming and we enter and you know most people when they commit a felony they usually make it worthwhile so we toured the school so then we went into the gymnasium again worthwhile it was not for us what we did was stupid and we just threw balls at each other while we were on those little scooters that when you got your finger ran over it hurt you know what I'm talking about the ones that had you like on your butt and you had to like I don't know how to explain it but it was a workout okay a literal workout those scooters we got bored and we left okay so this one is kind of similar to the other one only I was with three other girls we'll call one dryer washer and detergent so it was dryers house that we were all staying at the house a little bit down the road was for sale and it was owned by a bank and I really wanted my mom to move into it, but I wanted to like show her pictures of it. We decide to walk on over and see if the doors open. And of course there's a giant padlock on it because it's owned by a bank. We went to the back and realized that the screen door was unlocked. And we went in. That's probably a felony too. And we go into the one of the bedrooms. We eat some snacks, drink some drinks, and play cards. I could have gotten into serious trouble from this. And all I did was walk in there take some pictures and played cards <sighs> this next one like I don't really remember a whole lot of, like leading up to it so it's not like I can give like a giant like story time but it was when I lived in Texas it's when I was with my ex and I was visiting his friend and his girlfriend and across from his friend's house was a train and like building now i was a goody two-shoes and so was this friend's girlfriend we decided to go to walmart and buy some spray paint so we broke in through a fence and spray painted graffitied not only the train i'm talking about the sides of the building the electric boxes the ac thingy that's on the ground and my tags were awful my ex had some talent the girlfriend of the friend had some talent the friend and I's work looked awful. So I could have gotten multiple charges for some really shitty art. And it was very scary because I ended up like running away. A car pulled up and we ran. And it was really stupid because it was right across from the one dude's house. I think this is going to be my last one. This one happened October 2017. I was talking to this guy tinder he invited me to a halloween party my sister and i really wanted to go to one we went to one at 
for MU and it was supposed to be a frat party. We went to a Halloween concert like right before we were wearing matching like cop Halloween costume. I let that person know he matched us kind of weird and this other dude dressed as a prisoner kind of ironic. So we get there and we're just hanging out in the dorm. We're waiting for an uber to show up and mind you I was 17 at this time and then someone said the cops are coming. They were called on you by the RA and you know me being me I was like oh no they're not coming like why would they come and then I heard a knock on the door and there was alcohol all around us and we were both underage me being really underage like it was 12 o'clock like I'm past my curfew. Do you know how awkward it is to be dressed like a slutty police officer in front of real police officers? And then they see the alcohol and obviously they have to like get our ages and breathalyze us all and everything else. And I'm scared shitless. Not because I had alcohol but because I was underage. So I'm like standing there. They're taking everyone's age, getting their license, looking at it, everything. Luckily. I left mine in the car and they come to me and they ask me my birthday and I say, oh, July 21st, 1999. And my sister is like, what? But she didn't say that. She was like thinking it. And obviously she was freaking out because she can't go to jail. And then I do the little breathalyzer thing and that was scary because the one officer gave a look to the other one and I was like, oh. Oh god, did I drink and not realize it? Like what? And then they do the same for my sister. And meanwhile, while they were going around the room, the guy who invited me was telling me to come here and jump out a window. You mean to tell me I didn't do anything wrong, but you want me to climb out a window so then I get chased? No thanks. Finally, they were like, yeah, you guys can go and we bolt out of there like we run up the giant hill that we had to come down and we get to that car and that guy's like oh come on go to the party and we were like no no we want nothing to do it have gone one hell of an ass beating all right guys that's it for today um i hope you enjoyed those four little short stories of moments that i probably won't forget that i probably shouldn't have done but it made my life a little more fun i promise i plan on doing more than just story times because i'm very boring and i don't know that many stories so i'll eventually run out leave a comment have you ever had a really scary moment at a party did the cops come and you were like oh shit <laughs> um but yeah i'll see you next time guys bye